Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. So happy to have you here. Before we get started today, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you doing? Also, don't forget to like and share, 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 share with all of your naturalista friends. Now that that's out the way, today I am doing a different kind of wash day than I normally do. So I sat down and I realized that I only use like mid-range to higher end products in my curls. That's just how it's been from the beginning. Not that I did that on purpose, that's just what happened. Those are the brands that sent me stuff, those are the brands that I've seen, heard of, and bought myself. So I figured, hey, what about the more affordable products? Is there really a difference? Like, can you still get a bomb wash day? with more affordable products. So that's really what this entire video is about. I've only used products that are less than $10 each. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how my little affordable wash day experiment goes, then just continue to watch. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I just wanted to be fully transparent with you guys. Curly hair does not always look glamorous, especially after a week of like, being pulled back in a clip and it's just my hair is very dehydrated and dry and hot ass mess right now so we are really really in need of this wash day all right so to cleanse i'm going in with the as i am coconut co-wash this retails for nine dollars so i actually really like this co-wash i feel like like every time i use it i feel like i get a super deep cleanse which is great to get from a co-wash I'm also very, very generous with this product. I like to use a lot, like you can see here, that this is just soaked in product. Let's get a close up. You can see it's like conditioning while it's cleansing. So this is like fully distributed out of my hair now. It's fully detangled and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out completely and then move on to conditioner. All right, so next up for conditioner, I am using the new Texture by Cantu Leave-In Slash Rinse Out Hydrating Conditioner. So I like this as kind of like leave-in slash rinse out because if you know me, you know that I never always like fully wash out all of my conditioner, like no matter what kind of conditioner I use, or even if it's a deep treatment, whatever, like I never always wash it fully out. I just find my curls enjoy that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my hair now. My dog totally chewed it off, so I'm gonna have to take it out and scoop it. So this is actually my first time using this conditioner. Oh, I forgot to mention that this retails for $9.99. I believe you can get it at Ulta, so that's nice. But this is actually feeling really, really nice in my hair. Like, I hate conditioners that feel too thick and like too heavy. My curls just don't like a lot of products. They like very lightweight, but still needs to be moisturizing at the same time. And that's what I feel like I'm getting from this conditioner. It's a little close up. Juicy, right? Oh, and the smell, it smells pretty good. So before we move on to styling, I just wanted to make a note on this conditioner. I'm just looking at the ingredients on the back. And the number one ingredient is water. And I really, really like that about this product because that means that the largest content of anything in this product is water. If you guys have seen my curly hair do's and don'ts video, I explain the whole ingredients list. I'll tag it up here if you guys wanna check it out. But ingredients lists are usually listed in order of amount of content in the product. So if you see water as the first ingredient listed, that means it's mostly made up of water, which I really, really love because for curly hair, that is a major key. But yeah, I'm just gonna let this sit for like five more minutes and then I will be back to do some styling. All right, so the conditioner is still, I would say it's like halfway still in there, halfway rinsed out. We did a little 50-50. So now for styling, I'm gonna go ahead and just use one product to style today. And that's gonna be the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Shrinkage Defense 
curl activator. So this is meant to moisturize your hair as well as define your curls in one go. So I am really excited to try this. To be honest, I'm not sure if I trust gels that are under $10, that's just me. I am huge on like healthy ingredients and I just feel like a gel for under $10, I don't know, I just don't trust it, like Eco Styler, all that, I just, like it's just not for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this curl activator because you don't necessarily need to have gel to get a good amount of curl definition. So we finna do that today. So I can actually feel my curls starting to define up a little bit, which is a good thing. Like I would be worried if the curls were kind of just still feeling a little bit lazy, you know, but you can, you can always feel like when you put something in your hair, you can feel them kind of coming together and like defining more. And I'm feeling that with this product. I think what we might be able to achieve is like a really, really good mix between curl definition and volume, which is always the goal, right? Here's what the curls are looking like just with that styling product in them. Again, like I said, pretty defined and I'm actually really, really impressed because there's very minimal frizz, if any at all. Like I'm actually not really seeing any frizz. Okay, cream of nature. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my curls. Oh my gosh, how long was I looking crazy with my mascara I completely? I forgot that I had mascara on. I'm sorry for the raccoon eyes, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I have diffused it enough to where it's not really dripping anymore, but it's still pretty wet, so I'm just gonna let the rest air dry, and then I will be back in the studio to let you guys know my final thoughts and to show you guys the final result. Ta-da, here is the final look. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how this came out. Honestly, I think I'm the most surprised at how my hair came out without using gel. Because if you know me, you know I usually always use gel just to get that kind of curl definition. My favorite is usually Diva Curl Archangel Gel, but Diva Curl is expensive. Like at the end of the day, not everybody can afford that. So to have this $5.99 option is ridiculous. Hold on, let me come a little closer. I truly am impressed. Do you wanna know what's crazy? I feel like all three of these products get a pass for me. Like I think that's crazy. Like I literally just dug around in my stuff and found like, okay, what are the cheapest, what's the cheapest cleanser that I have, cheapest conditioner, and the cheapest styler, and these are the three products that I came up with, and they actually worked really, really well. So I feel like this kind of goes to show that you actually don't need to spend a whole pile of money on expensive products because these, I would definitely like recommend all three of these. Oh, and on top of all of these being affordable, you guys know I only support cruelty-free brands, so all of these are also 100% cruelty-free. I'm really, really happy with the results. I'm gonna keep you guys updated throughout the week on Instagram, so make sure you follow me at LissaMarieXO if you just wanna see how my hair keeps up throughout the week. I'm so glad that I did this video because I'm totally gonna start using these now. This is this is amazing. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. I know I certainly did. Like I still am kind of shook by how these products work together. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share this video with your other naturalista friends. You might help assist the out. And also, go ahead and subscribe so that you can be notified every single time a new video drops. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.